Yes, 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 yes. The GoPro has finally arrived. Hopefully, be good enough quality to get some decent footage of my riding. Been trying to film some of my rides on the GoPro Hero um, 5, but it doesn't have any stabilization. Um, so the footage hasn't been too great, been pretty shaky, not really been able to use it. So finally ordered myself a GoPro Hero 9 um, with a media mod. So hopefully, even if it's windy out, obviously on the bike, um, be able to hear me talking. So um, let's unbox it and then take it out for a spin. So we've got the media mod which includes like a, um, a microphone so hopefully even if it's windy out and obviously on the back loads of air rushing past you hopefully still be able to hear me that was a big trouble with my hero 5 is that you know any sort of wind on the microphone and it sounded as if you were underwater and of course the bad boy itself the gopro hero 9. gopro with like a ridiculous um offer on their website i think because you're purchasing a, like a year's subscription of gopro and um, you actually get the gopro and like a bundle of stuff a sd card a, a grip and an extra battery all that sort of stuff for next to nothing um, i think they're banking on people um, not unsubscribing from the year's gopro subscription so they're having to pay 50 pounds every year um, but it means you if you damage the gopro you can sort of re um, or send it back to them and they'll replace it um, and also gives you discounts off of the stuff and i think i even got this at a discount like 40 percent or something ridiculous um, because you have like gopro subscription so let's start with the media mod oh sliced into the packaging already good stuff so then then the media mod itself with the little mic all these companies are getting like apple Whoa. So with the bundle you get a nice little carrying case as well. You get the handle, nice little handle. I think it floats as well. I think it floats in water. You get a few extra, extra little kit, clips, charging cable, an extra battery. Always handy when you're out on a long ride. Two more clips, two more little um, screws, two more mounting brackets, some sticky pads, and the GoPro itself. Yes, finally. Be able to get some good footage. So I'm just gonna put it together. I'll show you how it looks and then we'll uh, we'll take it out for a spin. Really annoying, it was meant to be delivered um, meant to be delivered tomorrow. So I went out on a ride early this morning and then it arrived this morning. And I think the next couple of days are gonna be hammering it down with rain. So we'll see what we can do. Hopefully we get a gap in the weather. Um, but yeah, for once um, in their life, UPS delivered it, delivered it a little bit early. Okay, so finally got it set up. So as I said, the main reason I kind of got this was one, the kind of smooth footage on my old Hero 5. You know, as you're shaking around on the bike or going over bumps or, you know, I even have like um, a mount which you kind of put in your put in your mouth, which I'll be mainly using this with. Even with that, like in, in my mouth, I was still, you know, when you're going over bumps and potholes and stuff, the footage was still really shaky. So wanted the kind of hyper smooth that this has. So hopefully that'll work and um, work a treat. And then the little, sort of with the media mod, you get a little microphone here. Um, I think um, I'm gonna have a play around with it. Hopefully you can isolate just the microphone at the front so that when I am riding, if I'm turned around like this, I want to speak to camera, um, you know, the wind coming from the back isn't gonna have too much of an effect. So there are two kind of main reasons other than just the footage being generally um, a lot better quality. So hopefully it means um, now I can actually vlog and film a lot more of my riding. First official half century coming up, so stay tuned um, for that video. My first kind of 50 miles or official 50 miles video. Um, this will definitely come in handy um, for that. But yeah, without further ado, let's head out on a ride um, and see how it performs. I'll see you out there. Today's ride is just a nice steady, steady sort of zone two effort. Did some intervals yesterday, so the legs are pretty, pretty tired today. So just doing a uh, nice easy spin between an hour, an hour and a half, trying to keep my heart rate at about 130. Just nice and in the middle of zone two. Test out the camera, see, see how it does. Hopefully you can hear me, who knows? Otherwise I'm just talking to myself.
So yeah, hopefully the microphone, microphone is doing its job and you can hear me. But as I said yesterday, the weather, I think the next few days was meant to be really rainy. I filmed my kind of unboxing yesterday, but look at that, glorious sunshine. We're out and about. It's actually uh, a lot better than it forecast. Action camera is obviously so good um, for, for bike riding. It means you can get out in the middle of nowhere, um, take a camera with you and you can just stick it obviously in the back pocket of my, my jersey. Um, not gonna take up too much room, still plenty of room for gels and stuff on long rides, um, but it just means it's so much easier than, you know, lugging around a, a proper camera. And, you know, if you do drop it for whatever reason, um, less likely to break and be less expensive as well than a, uh, a big, big camera. Nice little um, recovery ride, 14 and a half miles an hour on average, so nothing nothing speedy, an hour and 20, went about uh, just over 19, 19 miles, 1,200 feet of climbing. Hopefully the footage was okay, obviously you'll know because you've just watched it, but <laughs> I'm yet to see, hopefully the wind wasn't too bad, hopefully it was pretty stable. Uh, looking forward to going in and editing this, um, and see, see if it's any good. But yeah, thanks for watching, um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in next week's video. See you in a bit.